Hi everyone, I'm Chanel from Stamping Stilettos and I'm here today to show you this um, fun tag card as it's Tuesday tags um, I thought I would make not just a tag but a card with a tag and we are using our very fun Nailed It stamp set and Build It framelits and we'll also be using the Stitched Shaped framelits now this has been cased from Pinterest and it was from stampingwiththeval.com. Um, so let me tell you how to make it. So you will need, um, let's put these to one side, you will need a basic black card base, which is five and a half, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So we're just going to burnish that now. I'm using the Urban Underground Designer Series paper, and that's cut at four and one eighths, by five and three eighths. Then you'll also need another piece of um, the same, it's the same DSP, but it's a different um, style and um, pattern. And this is cut at four and one eighths. So five, gosh, my brain won't work. Four and one eighths by two and a quarter. Sorry, that is four and one eighths by two and a quarter. You will need whisper white for the inside, which is four and one eighths by five and three eighths. That's for the inside of the card. A scrap piece of, um, no, this isn't a scrap piece yet, a scrap piece, but it's cut at um, two and a quarter by four, and that's in Delightful Dijon. A scrap piece of Whisper White, some Smoky Slate, and some Basic Grey. So let's go ahead and do our stamping. So taking the, the saw, and um, we've also got the sentiment which is, I knew I liked you the first time I saw you. Oh, that's so cute. And taking basic black. You need to um, stamp the saw twice, one on once on the basic grey. Now, um, just pop that down like that. And then you just need to do the same again on the smoky slate and then taking your sentiment and your piece of whisper white you just want to um, stamp that and then what we need to do is you need to take them to the big shop and we need to cut out the saw twice and we also have so these are the dies that you'll need from the um, the build it framelits you'll need this one for the sentiment the saw and then we're also using the stitched shaped framelits and we want to take the smallest circle um, in there and you need to cut that out in the um, basic grey so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be straight back okay so we've gone ahead and um, gone over to the big shot and cut those out and also what I've also done we cut out two of the saws one in the smoky slate one in the basic grain you need to just cut the handle down um, with some snips and we're just going to glue that onto there with some Tombow oops I only used that just now and it's I'm going to need to get a new one soon Right, okay, so we're just going to pop a bit of Tombow down and stick that down onto the handle. So that is done. And then we're just going to put those to one side for a second. And taking our card base, we're just going to put some Tombow down on here. And of course, you know, you can make a matching tag for a gift if you want, um, so that it's like a little set. So just pop that down like that. And then we're just going to do the same, put this down as well. And just going to leave about three quarters of an inch on the bottom there 
that's that we may as well go ahead and put the inside piece in as well and I'm going to use snail for that and just pop that inside oops oh my goodness inside your card and of course you could put a sentiment in there as well now taking your piece of delightful Dijon and your simply um your cutting tool sorry um what I'm going to do is just get a little uh, get a little and where's my uh just going to take a pen here and I'm just going to mark um to, uh, ooh, I'm saying, uh, two eighths of an inch I don't know if you can see what I'm doing just here I'm just going to go from this point here I'm just going to mark um, a quarter of an inch actually just that side and then turn it around and do exactly the same on this side and just put a little mark for a quarter of an inch I'm going to do the same on this side as well so I'm going to just go in there and then turn it around and do a quarter of an inch there. So I don't know if you can see that. I've just got two little marks in each corner. And all I'm going to do is just take my scissors and just cut across those marks there. Now I've just realised, I think, it was actually three eighths of an inch. I think I've gone and done it. Let's have a look. Um, what did I do differently? What I might do, I'm sorry to be, I've messed up. Um, you want to go three eighths of an inch. I don't think I quite did that long enough, so what we'll do, we're just going to mark another one eighth of an inch on each side because I don't think that's quite enough. Let's just do so it's three eighths of an inch you want to do on each side. So we'll just cut that down. So what I've done is it instead of it being a quarter of an inch, um, do three eighths of an inch. Yeah, that's right. I hadn't quite done it. That's better. There you go. So it's actually three eighths of an inch. So you want to. So we'll do that again. I'll just quickly show you. So let's just pretend I haven't done that end. I'm just going to put this in here. And you want to do three eighths of an inch. So one, two, and you would put a mark there. And then turn it round and do the same and go one, two, three, and put that and cut across. So instead of it being a quarter of an inch, it's three eighths of an inch that you need to do that. Okay, so now we've done that. Um, let's just put our lid on. And what we're going to do, with your stitched shaped circle, um, I just, should have done it when I had my board in. I just put the circle in and eyeball it about half the way and just give that a little score down the middle. And then you just need to take your, you need to fold that in half, give it a little bit of a burnish. And I'm just going to pop some Tombow in here, like that. And we're just going to centre that, like so, and just hold that down for a minute. Like that. And then taking your 1 8 of an inch hole punch, um, if I can find mine, yes, there it is. Um, so you take your one eighth of an inch hole punch. We're just going to put that in the center there, oh gosh, there you go, 
find the strength from somewhere, make a hole in it. And then I've got some black baker's twine. And I'm just going to cut a length of that, put the two ends together. And thread them through like so. And then grabbing the loop, just pull that. Now you could leave it like that. If you're making a tag, you would just leave it like that, obviously. But for the card, I did put a bow on it. So then you need to take your dimensionals. And do you know what? I always lose my dimensionals. I only had them like a minute ago. Where did I put them? Right, let me grab my dimensionals. Here they are. I knew I'd put them somewhere. And we're just going to pop two of those down there on the saw. Just going to pop that like so. Oh, you know what I've forgotten to do? We need to actually take that off a second. I am a dingbat. The one thing we still need to do, I'm taking the build it framelets and um, there is a wonderful die in here and it is pull this out. right let's pop those aside you have this fantastic like ruler so what I was going to do and I should have done it before we put that on you need to just run that through and putting it on the end um, and I'll just go and do that now for you so you can see what that looks like okay so we've gone ahead and done that I actually thought I was very organized today it appears I wasn't so that's what you get this gorgeous indentation of a ruler which is look at that very adorable um, so we're going to put this back on we're going to put the saw on and then where the sentiment is, we need two dimensionals on this, like so. And we're going to pop that on the bottom. Of course, you could use one of the other sentiments, but because it's a saw, obviously it's very um, funny. So we're going to pop those there, and we just need to put some dimensionals on the back of the tag. And I'm just going to pop three down, like so. And pop that down, like that. And then that's all that's left to do is, like I said, I put a bow on this one. But obviously you can make them as a tag for the gift as well. I'm just pulling that in. I'm just going to go ahead and snip that. And that. Oops. And there you have it. Um, another lovely um, card for, a, you know, mail card. It doesn't have to be mail, but, you know, I'm giving you a few here for your collection. And, you know, like I said, you've got the tag as well, which um, I love that you can have coordinating sets, you know, so you can obviously have your gift tag and a card. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, as I have. I always enjoy um, making the cards. I love, you know, the case cards, inspiration from Pinterest, etc. So I hope that you guys love all this. And um, please like and subscribe. And I shall see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.